So you've set up your AMS ads, but now you're looking at that dashboard and what does it all mean? I'll help you figure it all out. Stick around. Hey everybody, it's Keith Wheeler here. And today I'm talking about part three in our three part series on AMS ads. In part one, I showed you how to come up with 200 to 300 relevant keywords for your ads. In part two, I showed you exactly how to create, set up, and launch your AMS ads. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to read the dashboard and how to make tweaks while your ad is still live to make the most out of every day that you have your ad out there. Now, if you missed any of the previous videos, that's fine. I've included links to them below. I suggest you pause this video now and then go check out those two videos. And once you have your ad set up and it's live, come back and watch this video and you will learn everything you need to know on how to read the dashboard and how to tweak it while it's live. So with that, I'm going to flip the screen around and we're going to get started. Now, just like last time, we're going to go to ams.amazon.com and log in. Now, as I said in the previous video, I do this every single day, typically once a day, if not a little more. I would suggest at least doing it three to four times a week. This is a list of all of my campaigns that I currently have running. I'm going to make this full size. So this is the numbers campaign. This is the one that we're doing for this particular video. So here's the name of your campaign. This is the status, the type of campaign, whether it's a product or it's a sponsored ad, start date, end date, what your daily budget is, number of impressions. This is a big fancy word for the number of times your ad was seen number of clicks. That's the number of times that someone actually clicked on your ad. ACPC, that is your average cost per click. Remember on this one, we set a maximum of 10 cents per click, but each word is different. So even though the max is 10 cents, as you'll see in a moment, a lot of them are going to be less than 10 cents. So my average is six cents per click. This is the total amount I've spent so far. And this is probably your most important column, your A cost. This you hover over and it will tell you is your advertising cost of sales. It's the amount you've spent divided by your total sales. This column right here will tell you whether or not your campaign was profitable or not. Now, one thing you need to know about your estimated total sales is that this is based on the sales price of your book and your ebook, which means this is not taking into account your royalties. So if your book is $9.99 and someone buys it, it's going to say $9.99 here, not your royalty of that. That's why the A cost column is so important. The way to find out if your particular campaign was profitable is you want this percent to be lower than whatever your royalty percentage is. So if your royalty percent is 70%, then you want this to be below 70. As with most people, mine is 35%. So I need this to be lower than 35%. And if you scroll down to some of my other campaigns, you'll see that virtually all of them have been profitable. This one that I'm running right now um, hasn't had a sale yet, so therefore my percent is still zero. The very first one I did for My Buddy Knows Letters, as you can see here, was definitely not profitable. And that happens. But as long as overall mine are being profitable, then I'm good. Also keeping in mind that because I'm not spending a lot of money right now, even the ones that aren't profitable, I spent $4.41. Not a big deal. So going back to this one. Now, right now it's very profitable. 
it's below 5%. So going back, the most important columns are your impressions, your clicks, and your ACoS. Now, you'll have people from other videos tell you impressions don't matter. You want to be seen as many times as possible. And while that's true, because the more people that see it, better chances of clicking, that's only true if your keywords are relevant. So in this particular case, and as you can see, I normally would do this every day, but I haven't done it in a couple of days, and that's why I have 31 impression, 31,000 impressions, but only 24 clicks. So that tells me that clearly a lot of my words are not relevant. So the way to find out which words are not relevant and how to tweak your ad while it's still live is I'm going to click on the campaign name. And when this loads up, it's going to have the exact same columns as before, but this is based on each keyword. So I'm going to sort by impressions. Now, Eric Carl Carley is a is an author of a book that is relevant to mine and what I would consider competition using the methods that I showed you in the first video of coming up with keywords. This was one of the authors. Well, it's been searched for 3,900 times, 3,990 to be exact but only one time did someone click on my ad, which means my ad is not relevant to this keyword. So I'm going to click on this and I'm gonna pause this particular keyword. And as you can see, it now went gray. Sandra Boyton, again, 3,800 times, it's only been clicked four times and none of them were purchases because if there was, I'd say ACOS. I'm gonna pause this one as well number I mean it is a number book it it does have a lot of impressions and only five clicks but it is still very relevant and I do have purchases from it so I'm gonna leave that uh, duck and goose which is another uh, numbers counting book although it's relevant no one's clicking on it so I'm going to pause this counting tell the book this one I don't have any clicks very hungry caterpillar I don't have any clicks now your first couple days you know you may not get a lot of clicks so you'll have to be more sparingly but at least look at it so you know what what words you may want to pause now you may ask why pause it what does it matter if I'm getting impressions and not clicks here's why it matters because when someone searches for these keywords, your impressions shows the relevance. That is one of the many things that Amazon uses in their algorithm to decide where on the page or pages your ad gets displayed. So in case of this Eric author, if the, it's clearly not relevant. So when someone does a search for this, my ad is probably not being shown until page five or six of the search. Most people don't go that far when they're doing a search on a particular book or topic or anything. So that's why impressions are important. And like I said, there are other videos that people will post that will tell you just you just want to get as many impressions as possible. I'm telling you, you can do that, but know that it will it it has a direct correlation with how you show up on the page for that particular keyword. That's why relevancy is so important. Now, if you have a high number of clicks, but you don't have a lot of sales, that tells you something about your ad as well. Now, this, it tells you something that you can't really change while it's live, but you can definitely change once it's done and you wanna start your next campaign for that book if you have a high number of clicks but no sales or very little sales what that tells you is they clicked on the ad when they click on the ad it brings them to your 
books Amazon page. So if they click on that, but they don't convert to a sale, typically it means either your description they're not is not interesting to them. Your price may be a bit too high. Or they're not a big fan of your title. So if you have high clicks and low sales, those are the three areas you want to look at. Now, obviously, you don't want to change all those at once in one campaign. You want to pick one of those three elements, tweak it, and do another campaign with that. And that's how you find the perfect combination or as close to perfect as you can get for your ad. So as you can see in my softball journal, each of these, I tweaked something. Now, why don't you want to change more than one item? Because even if it's successful, you don't know what made it successful. So you can't as easily tweak it even more. So now that I've done this, and this one runs until the 23rd, I see that there are, like I said, there are not a lot of, there are a lot of impressions, but not a lot of clicks. Hopefully, this will balance out a little bit more now that I've paused some of those keywords. On my next one, what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll find which keywords were relevant, which had, you know, a high number of clicks in relation to the impressions, and see if maybe I can I can grow the keywords for that area so maybe tweet you know adding a couple words to the making it a key phrase instead of a keyword trying to get since we know that that keyword is going to be relevant try to see how many similarities to that keyword I can come up with maybe add in some typos because people when they type make typos so maybe I can put numbers and you know put an extra m or something like that so you know and something that people do and try to see what, how that affects my my click ratio again if my issue is with not converting to sales which actually happened on my journal when i went from 18 percent to less than four percent which means it was extremely, extremely uh, successful. I paid a dollar forty, and I made well. It was thirty-five dollars in sales. That was that's probably as close to to a perfect scenario as I can get. And what I did was, I tweaked the verbiage on my description. You know, I would rather have, in a case like this where I'm only getting 1700 impressions, but I'm getting 16 clicks. Then over here where I've got 31,000 and I'm only getting 24 clicks. So again, it's, it's something that you're, this is one reason why I always run mine for a short period of time to begin with. Now that I've tweaked this one to be as close to ideal as I can, then I'm probably gonna run this particular book, my journal, my softball journal, I'm probably going to run it continuous. This, my buddy knows numbers. This is my first, this is my initial one. Uh, it, it's actually started out really well, uh, mainly because this isn't my first ad that I've done in general. So I, I am a little more familiar with the system and, and how to, how to start in the right direction, but I'm still going to tweak it a little bit. I'm going to like I said, I'm going to reduce quite a few of the of the keywords, try to find some more relevant keywords, and uh, look at my description. If I see that there's not a lot of clicks that are actually converting right now, it looks like I mean, I've got 24 clicks and $32 in sales, so they're converting pretty well. But that's it. it you know, like I said, I want to make this video short and sweet. Uh, if you have any questions, Make sure you put them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, hey, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. And, uh, you know, if you have any other questions, you can head on over to Facebook and go to the Review Mates Facebook group. We'd love to have you there. 
Uh, right now we have over 600 members and it's a pretty active group. I post something every day during the week. So until next time, remember to write right.